There's so many beautiful things that come out of being involved with horses. New Zealand Riding for the Disabled is the only internationally recognised therapeutic horse riding programme in New Zealand. We all have a core purpose of being able to offer therapeutic horse riding to people who experience disabilities in our community. Our goal is to work on therapeutic goals and we set these with parents or occupational therapists, physios, teacher aides. A variety of people can be part of one rider's team and we are absolutely wanting to be safe first and foremost and second we want to be working hard and we disguise all of that in fun. Often the riders that we have here can't actively be involved in other team sports, so it gives them an opportunity to participate. We can build on motor function, strength, core strength, fine and gross motor skills. There's so many different things we can do while we're on the horse that are going to benefit them, hopefully, in their greater lives. For instance, holding the reins. If we can get a rider to pinch and grasp onto a rein, then we are hopefully helping them perhaps be able to tie their shoelaces or hold a fork. Horse riding isn't necessarily the end goal for a lot of our riders, but we use horse riding and horse riding skills to help teach other skills. We brought Trent because in the last couple of years he's been in like in a really hard place and since we've been in this program like we've just noticed just how happy he is and like how confident he's getting. Can we get a high five? That's it, well done. I know that he doesn't necessarily communicate with people here due to him being selective mutism but as soon as he gets in the car I hear all about how he's feeling, how he's riding and it's just amazing to hear and just to see him smile. As a mum to to see all that, um, it, it's amazing, the feeling's just so good. Noya's been going for about two and a half years now. We just thought it would be a good way of increasing her balance and her stability um, and also creating a sense of community. They give Noya a oh, sense thanks. of strength and to see her up on this amazing beast is so wonderful. Jeffa, that's right. What were you doing today on Jeffa? A ball. And did you throw the ball? I was clear. With clear, that's right. Are you happy? Happy. We've got 12 horses on site, range from about 13 to, to 16 hands. Generally speaking, we're choosing horses for their trainability. So we really do look for um, really lovely temperaments, really good brains, kind natures, horses that aren't afraid of lots of people in their space, and generally the less reactive ones. So Moana is, she's been here about eight weeks, and when she turned up, after about a week of ridden work and in hand training, she had a massive growth spurt. All her energy was going into growing. So for the last six weeks, she's being led around the park with no rider off another horse for exercise. And this week was the first time we've put a rider back on her and she's really quiet and beautiful natured. She's less reactive to all the things that she needs to be able to be calm about in our RDA program. So it's important as well that Moana can stay at park when we want her to. I think she's got the right nature to do the job. We use principles of equitation science. We're asking horses to be light and responsive to signals. We need them to be able to stop, go, walk slow, walk fast, walk trot, and have riders being able to ride sideways and backwards for various different reasons. So overall, we need horses that are gonna listen and that are safe to handle for our riders, but also for our volunteers that are working with them on the ground. I've been volunteering for RDA for 10 years. We as volunteers, we work closely under the coaches and the therapist supervision. Each child or adults as well, they have individual goals. And depending on the rider's needs, this can be behavioral issues, for example, then the, during the rides, they learn about taking turns, sharing, following instructions, talking to people, communication. Good night. Good night. Good night. Other riders who have physical needs, the movement of the horse stimulates the same muscles 
as if they were walking. We sort of break down these goals into activities like, for example, passing the ball or hold up the ball high. These are all things that can be done in a playful way but are very beneficial. I think it's successful because I'm seeing riders develop in confidence and social skills improving. Physically, we are hearing that riders are getting stronger and this overflows too into school and at home. Somebody who is full of energy comes to RDA, they can focus because the horse is providing that energy for them. They have a really amazing, successful half an hour ride and they go home and parents are reporting back that they are calmer, quietly doing homework and going to bed and sleeping better. There are so many success stories out there.